Hey there, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and I'm going to show you something new about Windows Phone 8. Let's check it out. Alright, in this video we're going to take a look at the Office Hub, OneNote, and Microsoft's new PDF Reader. So let's start with the Office Hub. And you see a new logo, and we see recent uh, documents. We have a different type of icon than we had before. The large tile is gone, and it says uh, how recently you were using some of these files. There's the search. You can search SkyDrive, the phone, or your email attachments. SharePoint as well. And over here we have the places where you might store your documents. So SkyDrive, email, anything that you get an email and open it will show up here. I didn't open anything. And there's your SkyDrive, of course. So let's look at some of these files. There's our sample spreadsheet. And we have uh, graphs now. Pretty nice. And it's pretty smooth moving through here. It's still a very basic version of Excel, but there are some improvements. Uh, next, uh, here's PowerPoint. I'm just going to open that. And you'll see it, ha it has a portrait support now. And we have little thumbnails. And we have some pretty nice animations. Better artwork. So one really cool thing about Word is uh, say you're editing something right here and you close it and then you open the same file off of SkyDrive from Word 2013 on a desktop or a tablet. It uh, lets you pick up right where you left off. Now one thing that's special here uh, that you want to see is if I tap and hold, of course I can pin that document to the start screen if I'm working with it a lot. You can delete it, you can share it or you can save it too. So, say I receive something and I want to upload it to SkyDrive. That's pretty easy now. And uh, sharing. NFC, Bluetooth, email. So you can share documents over NFC now. And uh, look at this one, this is a PDF. I can also email PDFs, which is new. Hooray. Okay, let's open that PDF. So this is Microsoft's new PDF Reader, which uh, we know we had Acrobat Reader on Windows Phone 7.5 from Adobe, but look how smooth this is. Much, much smoother. Usually. <laughs> Tap it again to get the menu controls back. And you can navigate the bookmarks, you can jump to a page, rotate it, go to next or previous page. Still pretty simple, basic PDF reader, but performance is a lot better than previous versions of Acrobat Reader on Windows Phone. Now what, how about OneNote? This is one of my favorite programs. Let's get back out of here. You see, it's completely different uh, from the previous version of OneNote on Windows Phone. Here's my notebooks. I can choose to sync or not sync some of them. And you can search them. And here's your recent list. So that's quick access to uh, recent pages. And let's go to this one. And I'm going to open my test notebook. Where is it? There it is. So this is a notebook page that I made, which has all sorts of things going on. We have embedded documents, and I can easily open those. Embedded PDF, this is a table, checkboxes, lists, everything is supported. Here's a hyperlink to web page, that works fine. And here's a hyperlink to another OneNote page. Now, this never worked before on a mobile device, but click it, crop. There we go. 
So links within OneNote pages. And what is that? Ink. Finally, handwritten ink is readable. You can't edit it. I can probably delete it. We can finally read ink that you uh, may have written on a tablet PC. There's your uh, test embedded video, embedded audio, all of that works great. Screen clippings. And here's something new that wasn't working before. Those are diagrams and shape drawings. Those now work and are visible. The only thing that doesn't work is the equation. Password protected notebooks or uh, notebook sections also do not work. So that's a quick look at Office, OneNote, and the new Microsoft PDF Reader on Windows Phone 8. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and that's it for now.